two movements coming together for change, both marginalized in the past, both fighting for equality. The organizers of the Denver Dyke March joined with Black Lives Matter 5280 to host the Pride Liberation March. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez live at the state capitol where Lance, that march ended just moments ago with the candlelight vigil. And that candlelight vigil is over with Jacqueline and another group has taken over Lincoln Street just to the southwest of the state capitol. A few moments ago we saw a couple of vehicles burning rubber going round and round in the middle of the intersection. Traffic blocked on Lincoln Street. Not everybody to the south knows about that. This certainly detracts from what Black Lives Matter is all about. The pavilion at Cheeseman Park has long been a gathering place for the LGBTQ community. A community that only wants to be seen as equal is under attack and it is time to stop. Today, the gay community joined forces with Black Lives Matter 5280 to draw attention to police violence and racism. Our liberation and our movement in Stonewall was started by black lives. They held space for us as queer individuals to have our liberation and our movement. Today, an attempt to return the favor. State Representative Leslie Harrod says with new laws, police will now be held accountable for their actions. I'm talking about civilly too, meaning in their pockets, right? And making sure that bad law enforcement officers never work anywhere in the state again. My stepdad is a cop. Pasha Eve says most police officers are committed to serving and protecting. But I do also think that in general, in our society, and especially within police forces, there is a situation of, of institutionalized racism. From the pavilion, participants marched out of Cheeseman Park, then headed west, down Colfax, toward the state capitol. Black Lives Matter! Gay Lives Matter! Gay Lives Matter! At the capitol, more passion. Talk about stolen land and a brutal system that has kept minorities oppressed. Then, a candlelight vigil to honor the lives lost. Back live, I can tell you that eastbound traffic is getting through this intersection at 14th and Lincoln, but northbound traffic, pretty paralyzed. We did see an RTD bus go through a little bit earlier, but some of the protesters that are out here that weren't part of the vigil blocking traffic at 14th and Lincoln. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.